Good evening. Welcome back to our series of lectures. Uh, for tonight, we're going to discuss lesson number one. This is the review of our basics. So I'm going to divide these lectures to different parts so that uh, the video, the file size will be smaller and I'm going to be uploading it easier rather than to have a long lecture. So let's start. Here we go. I'm going to share to you my uh, Excel file. So this Excel file is um, shared over the Moodle. So as I said in my conversation to all of you, um, we're going to use Moodle for all the materials that we need. And um, for all the submission that you're going to do also, Excel is what, uh, Moodle is what we're going to do, I'm sorry. So let's start. So this table is some um, actually a grading sheet or a grading table. So as you can see here, so we have different students. So like uh, from Afra to Mariam, and this is already prepared to have a record of the quizzes. Like we have 40 four quizzes here. Uh, with 20 items or 20 points for per quiz for a total of 80. Um, and then the total score of the students is already here. Okay. And then, as you can see here, this is the equivalent of the quizzes and it's weighed 30%. So the project scores are also here which the project has 10% uh, equivalency, as well as the midterm, which is 30%, and the final exam is gonna be 30% equivalent. So 30, 10, 30, 30, for the total of 100%. <clears throat> so as you all know, uh, out of 100, whatever score or points you're gonna uh, receive or get in your course, then you're going to have your corresponding grade. So A, A minus, B, and so, and so on and so forth. Okay, that will be used for the, your computation of your GPA and your standing here at Geotech. So that is our concept for here, uh, for, for this exercise or lesson, not exercise, uh, or practice. Uh, as you can see here, all we have to do is to add uh, column C7, D7, E7, F7 for the first student's total grade out of 80. So how do we do that? So of course, as earlier as I said, we have the formula bar. If I'm going to remove this one, uh, I can apply a, an auto auto function which is the sum and then auto function will automatically detect numbers so if there are adjustments that you have to take or do, you have to do is you have to do it while the moving ends here is activated so for example you're not you don't want to add this or you want to add only this and this so just select that one, the first cell C, select the second cell by pressing control first. Okay, C7, then E7, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to repeat the process for us to follow. So again, auto sum is in the editing group of the home tab. Sum, C7 is F7, or until F7. So I that's okay for us, so just press enter, and that's it, you got it. Now to copy, there are many ways on how to copy this, and for sure you want to copy the formula and not only the value, because the value is 59, 
and that's not applicable for the next row. So right click copy or control C and then go to the next cells. You can highlight the next cells where you want to copy the formula, right click paste and it will be applied. Or control C, highlight the next cells, control V, it will be the same. Okay, the other way on how to copy and paste a formula is to put your cursor, cursor at the right bottom corner and then wait for your cursor to turn up like a plus sign, a black plus sign. So that when you click and then now you drag, then automatically you can copy the formula. I'm going to repeat just for you to get it easily. So first, the formula is applied or was applied sum of C7 up to F7. You can see it here. You can also double click on the cell so you can see also the formula. Now, once the formula is already executed, move your cursor to the corner bottom, right, uh, right corner bottom of your cell and then wait for the plus sign that is black, the thin one, and then click and drag and then going down. You can also do that going to the right, but you can use that or uh, try that sample to the right, to the left, going up uh, on the other exercises. Okay, now we're going to go uh, for this cell H7, wherein I already explained it's a 30% weight or equivalent. That's why EQ. Now, why do we have to get 30%? As we said, each of this assessment, quizzes, project, middle exam, uh, midterm exam, and final exam has weightage of 30, 10, 30, 30. It depends on the course. I discussed to you last time uh, or in the introduction or orientation that our course advanced Excel is 50% final exam, 25% project, and 25% for the activities or the exercises. So here it's different, but it should be the same concept. Okay, now what are we going to wait? What are we going to wait is the total score of each student out of the perfect score or the, uh, out of the total score and get the percentage equivalent of that. So what, what do we say? 59 divided by 80, let's use a calculator. Just give me a minute, 59 divided by 80. Okay, or I'm going to do it here. Let me just make it bigger. So if you divide 59 divided by 80, that's 73 point, point 73.75. Point now, if I'm going to multiply that by 100, that's gonna be 73.75 percent. Okay, 59 over 80 is 73.75 percent. But that is just the quiz. We want to get the 30 percent of this. Okay, and later on we're gonna add this to the other equivalent. Okay, that's the concept. So therefore, if I want to get the 30 percent of that. All I have to do is to multiply again this with 0 0.3, 30%, right? So 0 0.3 actually times 100 is just to simplify 30. Okay, the 100 times 0.3 is just canceled out and have been uh, equivalent to just 30. So this is correct. This is now the the quiz equivalent of APRA, but we have to apply a formula. 59 divided by 80 is going to be like this. 
let me again call the cell reference or cell address because we want to copy the formula from this cell to the other cell and the only way we can uh, do that is if we use a cell address g7 divided by g5 multiplied to as we said 30 percent is already uh, given so we're just going to multiply by 30. press enter 22.125 okay i'm going to stop for a while uh, with this part of the lecture and i'm going to continue uh, on the next video see you